Now in this video we're going to look at Greek diphthongs. So diphthong. Now what is a diphthong? So it's simply a sound that is formed by two vowels. And these two vowels are by two vowels in a syllable. Syllable. So essentially you have two vowels, they come together and they form a unique sound. So in Greek, let's just look at one example of a diphthong. So you have an alpha and you have a iota. So this has an aw sound, this has an e sound, but when they come together, it actually has an i sound, um, like aisle. Aisle. So that's the sound that it forms. Now when you have an alpha and an upsilon, it forms the following sound. So sau, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. So sau, au. Or auto. So that's the sound that this diphthong forms. You have epsilon and an iota. It forms an A sound. So eight. Eight. So EI in this case, epsilon, iota. So you can see the similarity. Another one is epsilon and upsilon. This forms an U sound, so feud. So there's the pronunciation. An Omicron and Iota, that's an OI sound, like oil. So you see the similarities. EU, Epsilon, Upsilon, Omicron, Iota, O and I. Then let's look at another one. So Omicron and Upsilon. Upsilon. So that's an oo sound. So soup. That sound right over there. Upsilon and iota. Uh, that's a u sound. So or a we sound. So sweet. Sweet. And the last one is an upsilon and. Uh, well, we actually did this one. So, sweet or queen. Uh, so, upsilon and iota. So, those are the diphthongs, the Greek diphthongs and how you pronounce them.